Farm Journal's new machinery and technology editor, Matthew Grassi, just got back from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Always a really cool show from a gadget and home electronics standpoint, but some of our ag companies are really starting to find a home there at the CES, Matt. That's right, Clinton. First of all, thank you for having me. Uh, CES, yeah, it was a uh, it was a whirlwind of a trip. Yes, ag uh, ag was pretty prevalent on the floor there. I uh, spent quite a bit of time at the Deer booth. Was impressed with the uh, both the scale of, of the exhibit there, as well as how uh, simple how they is and, and made it simple for the attendees to understand the intersection of tech in sustainability when you're talking about that John Deere tech stack. Well, one of the reasons that we're here is to advocate for the industries that we're representing. So whether that be agriculture, or construction, road building, we're here to raise the voice of our customers and ensure that society hears. You now, as I talk to people here at the show, um, many of them don't have a thorough understanding of where their food comes from. And so we have an opportunity as a, as a large OEM in the agriculture and construction and forestry space to raise that voice. And, and let everyone know the hard work that our farmers do and the sustainable work that our farmers do each day. Matt, I know there are just thousands upon thousands of products, but can you narrow it down from an ag standpoint? Give us your top three things that you saw. I would have to start with the uh, the Bobcat AT450X enabled by Agtonomy Utility Tractor. I know that's a mouthful there, Clinton, but... Uh, Really interesting combination of technology. It was just a, a, a an amazing ecosystem that they've created on this electrified automated tractor. And really the, the real power and brains behind it is the mobile app that Agtonomy, the team there, has designed for it. Interesting. Number two for you, the second coolest thing that you saw while at CES. For me, Clinton, that would have to be the Infinitum AirCore Mobility Engine technology that... Uh, one of these newer startups that's not really a well-known ag company has presented, and it's actually in commercialization. It's on the market now. The way it's being applied in agriculture is via irrigation pumps, as well as there is some application for a combine technology. So what that uh, air core mobility smart engine they're calling it does is it takes the inside of a traditional engine, a lot of iron and copper wires and coils, and it replaces them with these stri stators, these plastic stators. They're like, uh, almost like a circuit board, circular. And what happens is it's powered by electricity, and these things start spinning around inside that engine and creating all this additional power inertia that is then transferred to whatever you're trying to drive with the drive shaft or, or however it hooks into the engine there. Number three would be the aforementioned John Deere tech stack. Now the main highlight of that was the uh, the 8RX autonomous tractor that was running field tillage about 1300 miles away in Austin, Texas. And you could actually go up to the display, pick up an iPhone and tell the tractor to turn or stop or do, you know, and it was live streaming right there up on the wall. It was pretty neat. They stop it, they start it, they turn it, they increase its speed. And we work them through the planting cycle. Some of the new technology we have there, furrow vision, for example, that takes the eyes of the farmer and puts it in the row unit of the planter. We then talk about sea and spray, nurturing our crop and, and, and applying chemicals when appropriate and how we can save two-thirds of chemical with our sea and spray tech valve. By 2030, it's our goal to demonstrate a fully autonomous corn and soy production system. So that means the tillage pass, the planting pass, the spraying pass, and the harvesting operation. I guess uh, the main takeaway would be that, that this technology, while it's, a lot of it's still a concept in ag, I mean, it's it's maturing, it's starting to become come closer to true commercialization and showing up on the farm gate, I believe. Matthew, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for attending CES this year. Uh, he's our machinery and technology editor for Farm Journal. Appreciate all you do. Thanks for your time, Clinton. Appreciate it.